Hi friends, it's Mari. I'm here today sharing another project for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be using the Chin Up Buttercup Stamp and Die Set, the Buffalo Plaid Stamp Set, and this gray piece of cardstock here to create the details for my card front. I'm going to start off here by stamping out the Buffalo Plaid Stamp onto some scrap paper, and I'm going to use that impression to line up my card front going to take my A2 size gray card front piece here and stick that down onto the scrap paper just making sure that my paper is lined up with with that plaid background so that when I stamp the plaid onto the gray cardstock it's lined up perfectly and I'm just going to ink up that stamp a couple of times here and get a really nice strong buffalo plaid image on my gray cardstock and I really like the tone on tone uh, effect that I'm going for here so I'm using a gray ink on my gray paper and it will just look uh, really subtle in the background on for my card front here so I'm just going to go ahead and repeat those steps again a couple more times and just ending up with just a really nice plaid uh, pattern this is the A2, scallop A2 card frames and I'm going to use the largest die in that set there to cut out my card front you can see that I have that all finished there and that just leaves a really nice finished edge on my card front I've also taken one of the thin circle frames and I have from the thin circle frame die and I have backed that with some vellum and uh, you can see there that I cut it from some gold glitter paper so that now I have a little frame to frame my floral little floral bouquet that I'm going to be stamping and coloring here. I'm going to stamp out all of the Chin Up Buttercup images on some Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock using my Mini Misty here and some Copic friendly ink because I am going to color these images with some Copic markers. So I'm going to just stamp those out here using my Misty and just get a really nice impression. I think I'm going to stamp those out a couple of times here just to make sure that I have a really nice solid line. And then I'll just take that cardstock out of my Misty and go ahead and color that with my Copic markers. Now I did want to go with sort of a fall theme color scheme here today. So I'm going to be using some oranges and yellows, uh, really uh, kind of like a, a burnt orange kind of a look. And I'm going to leave that one yellow flower kind of nice and bright. So you can just see the numbers of the Copic markers that I'm using there on the lids to the left of my cardstock and I'm just going to show you how I colored uh, one piece of each of the different areas just so that you can then um, know how I colored all the rest of it and so there you saw what I did for the yellow and now here I have my orange and I'm just going to use three different colors of orange to finish out my orange um, flower now I did actually end up going in on with the orange with some YR27 as well and just to create kind of like a darker area. And I finished the center of the flowers with E59. So you can just see I'm doing a really simple blend here, nothing complicated at all. Now I'm going to take the Companion Honey Cuts for the Chin Up Buttercup stamp set, and I'm going to use that to go ahead and trim out my floral and foliage pieces here. I'll get all of the companion honey cuts there and have the, get those all cut out. Now I didn't want to use the stems on my little floral pieces here so I am going to go ahead and trim the stems off mostly. I'll leave a little bit there just um, as a little spot maybe to do some gluing or attaching but for the most part the stems have been detached from those floral pieces. I just wanted kind of like a little bouquet at the bottom part of my circle almost kind of like the bottom part of a wreath. And here you can just see that I'm going to put those green, blue-green leaves in and around. I really like this color palette. I love the blue-green and orange together. And that little pop of yellow just kind of brightens it up a tiny little bit. And it just kind of has a really nice fall look in that way. Now you can just see me kind of getting an idea uh, briefly or basically where I want to put things. And then I'm just going to take my Honeybee Stamps liquid adhesive and I'm going to glue everything down. 
Now I'm going to use the Slimline Sentiments Eyelets Thanks die to create my sentiment. I have cut it twice, once from the gold glitter cardstock again and once from black cardstock. And I'm just going to adhere the gold to the black with a little bit of liquid adhesive. And I'm just going to offset them a tiny little bit so that you can see that black uh, underneath the gold it'll just kind of look like a little bit of a shadow in that way so here I'm just going to take my honeybee stamps uh, glue tube and I'm just going to add a little bit of liquid adhesive there glue these together and then that is going to be the sentiment for my card I'm just going to put it kind of above my little floral and foliage pieces there and that will finish off the front of my card and I'm just going to go ahead and use my liquid adhesive to stick that to a uh, kind of an aqua colored uh, card base which matches my leaves and my card is going to be finished but I wanted to add a little bit of bling so I'm going to use a little bit of gold stickles a little bit of wink of Stella so here you can see my wink of Stella here I'm going to use that just to make my florals all really nice and pretty and shiny and I'll do that I'll use that on each one of my floral pieces and when I'm finished with that, I'll go in with a little bit of gold stickles and I'll use those, the gold stickles just on the centers of each one of the flower pieces just to add a little bit more gold. And it just complements that glow, the gold um, circle and the gold on the sentiment as well. And now I'm just going to reach for my gems and I'm going to use the hot tropic gem stickers here in gold these are so pretty I absolutely love these little blingy um, bits that you can add to a card to just finish it off so nicely I think it just really adds that little bit of pizzazz and shine and sparkle to a card that just makes it look extra special and I'm just going to find three little areas where I can add my little gems, I'm going to add five gems and my card's going to be finished. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun making this card. Please check out the description box below for links to all of the products that I used today from the Honey Bee Shop and links to the blog and the Facebook page and all of the other places where you can find Honey Bee Stamps and products. Have an amazing